Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. And, uh, we are at the station in, uh, Balam. And, uh, there's a shop here. And I just want to kind of show this, because this is actually the first shop we've been to. Um, and obviously you can't buy weapons here, but you can buy really standard kind of stuff. Potions, high potions, Phoenix down. You know, eye drops, soft, echo scream, holy water, blah, blah, blah. You know, of course, you can buy anything you want. Uh, so we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff. Um, just kind of make sure that we, you know, we're ready for going somewhere else, and, uh, easy stuff, you know, just make sure we have some antidotes, and, you know, because you, really, you really don't want to use this soon on things like, you know, poison, if you can help it, I mean, you know, we will if we have to, I mean, but, so, and it always helps to be prepared, and, uh, eventually we'll be able to refine things that, like, things like this into spells anyway, so we won't really, um, So, and we can get G potions now, so, um, from here, which is good, because they're, you know, we didn't have those before. We had, we have the returners, we have plenty of those, so. And, uh, I'm not sure who the ammo's for, I'm not sure if it's for the gunblade or if it's, uh, for, uh, guy we don't have yet, so, uh, we're, we'll buy a little, I don't care. We're just out of shopping, it's retail therapy, it makes us feel better. Okay, and the other thing over here, um, uh, uh Sorry about that, I was trying to play card with her. Um, although, I really have had enough. Uh, okay, so this is the Queen of Cards. And she has a whole mini quest where you have to purposely lose cards to her and stuff, and we're not doing it. I'm not losing cards to her and then finding other places that she is and then winning cards from her and stuff like that. We get all ready. And there are also things that you can do about, like, yeah, she can pass on new rules to regions and stuff. And there are ways that you can stop new rules from spreading and just play every card game in the game with like the same single trade rule and stuff. But I actually like difference the difference rule for trade. Um, we're not gonna play her, by the way. Uh, but there you go, trade rule is different. So if you win by like one, you actually get two cards. Or you win by two, you get three cards. Things like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. So, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run out and, uh, and do some grinding for items. And, uh, we have a fourth rare card to get. And that will probably take up most of the video, because there's a lot of stuff we have to go over, because there's a lot of other stuff we're gonna do, too, so. Believe it or not. We haven't really been outside very much, as far as... I mean, all the stuff we've been doing has been taking place inside, so we need to take advantage of the fact that we're outside running around right now. Alright, so what we've been doing is we've been running around on this beach because there are these fish enemies, and you're going to see them, um, because they're the only thing that'll hit you on the beach. And first off, they give you 6 AP. They give you 3 AP apiece. So it's great to grind for GF abilities with these things. Also... You can, uh, you get the fish fin from them, um, which you can use one of your GF abilities to refine into water. So, uh, and actually we've been grinding for spells long enough to, um, every spell you can draw out of a monster in this area, including the training grounds, we have a hundred on each of our people. So, fire and cure and thunder and blizzard and... So yeah, so we've actually, we've progressed quite a bit. So, and obviously I'm not going to show you all that, but I wasn't going to show you all that, but you know, you need to know, you need to know how I got up to almost a thousand hit points. So yeah, so there's the fish fin. And there you go, and uh, we learned an item refined skill. And we're going to go over that, we're going to go over the item refined skills, so... That was not what we wanted to do. Okay, so these are the item refined skills. They let you, like, refine thunder magic from items. And some items, like the wizard stone, are specifically for that. Like, and the magic stone pieces. So, and this one lets you do water and ice magic. And we're gonna give Selfie some water spells, although we've already done 300 of those. Quistus has 100 of them. And then this one... It refines life magic from items. So, like, the tent and, like, cottages, you know, can be turned into, like, kiragas and things. 
And holy water can be turned into zombies, which is awesome. And uh, this one does status map. So, and there's a whole host of them. Like, almost every GF has at least one of those abilities that lets you refine things. And that's how you're gonna get, like, upper level spells really easily. So, one of the other things um, that we've been doing is running around in these woods. Because there's an enemy in here you haven't seen. Yet. So, we'll show it. And it's this caterpillar guy, and I mean, you can just, the stuff you can draw to him is really basic kind of stuff, but he does drop the item spiderweb. So, we actually haven't been yet, see, we can draw it here, um, but. Alright, so everybody's getting all healed up. And eventually we will return to the plotline here. I, again, I'm just going through kind of the things that I've done to prepare for moving on and, uh, in the level. Ooh. Well, they gave her Berserk. Who cares? I was just going to attack with her anyway. It's awesome. All right. Good job, Zell. All right. Yeah, Spiderweb, see? Okay, so we can go back to town now because we have some items for uh, some of our weapons. And I'm just going to show you that um, now that we have the new weapons monthly uh, opened, and I read it off camera, uh, then we'll have different options at the weapon shop. We're still not going to be able to do anything because those basic weapons are the ones we have already. So. Yeah, see, now we have sheer trigger. And Maverick. So there you go. Nobody can draw it because we all have a hundred. Um, okay, so and now you're kind of caught up. Kind of. Uh, we've got some other stuff that I did off camera to go over. But we'll take care of that. First, got to get back to the garden. Because what I did was... Um, I did tests off camera... And I, uh, I played another series of card games. So, we'll be seeing that. Well, I'll be explaining that. Alright, well here's a new enemy. These guys are nothing. There's not, you can get nothing good from these guys. They're not worth it. I mean, whatever they are. I mean, we're showing it because we haven't fought them yet. But I mean, they're pretty easy. There we go. And I obviously have sleep junction to my attack, and that's what put me to sleep, so. That actually is just a result of the automatic junctioning, that I just put, like, automatic junction in for attack, and it puts sleep on there, so. Whatever, I'm not worried about it. It'll, it, it, there will be strategies and stuff for that later, but, like, right now. Right now, we're way stronger than we should be, actually. We've kind of done so much. Kind of off-screen stuff. Alright, so back to the garden. And the reason we're going back to the garden is because I, I, I played Sid for the Cypher card. You could do that now. Before you leave town. And, and you probably should. If you're interested in the cards at all and you want to build a really good strong deck for kind of card collection later, which is really the point of getting these cards now, is to build a really strong deck so that you can actually fight people, like play the card game and win with consistency later. Because if you don't, it's a pain in the ass to get back. So, we gotta go all the way up to the third floor. Um, and, uh, you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gotta do what you gotta do, and you... you... Oh. Alright, anyway. I mean, it's not too far of a, a little run or whatever, so... And then after this, we'll get back to plotline. Yeah, see, so I took Tess off screen, and it made me, like, level 16. Uh, and the reason is, it's, see here, if you go down to Tutorial... Um, there's a, a thing that says test. And it'll let you take a test, and when you get 100, it'll raise your level 1, and then let you take the next test. And you can take up to the number test that, like, level you're at. 
as far as like your your battle level and there's 30 of these tests and I'm not actually answering these questions I went online and I found a table of all the answers because they never change the tests never change so just do that you don't need to because it wants you to go through the tutorial and learn all these things and, like pay attention to what's really going on in the game and yeah screw that uh just go and like print out the table or write it down so yeah and see we just did enough from there to get us to level 20 because that's the only way you can make money in this game is based on your seed rank so and you can get it up to 30 i mean uh which is like class a or something okay so we go up to the third floor here and i'm not gonna show you i'm not gonna fight you I'm not gonna play a card game against Sid. He has the different rule, which makes it actually really easy to, like, once you've got a strong deck, to kind of pad your deck playing him. Because if you beat him by two cards, you know, you get three of his cards. See, so he says, yes, a game of cards, and, like, we're not gonna play him because we already played him and won the card. And you've seen enough of the card playing now. We're not doing any more, any more videos of card playing. See, he's got trade rule different, different. Whatever, you don't care. Because I don't even care, and I'm playing the game. So yeah, and so I'll show you to prove that I actually have the card. Like, like you don't believe me or something. Like you're just like, ah, he's a liar. That guy lies about everything he does. There it is. And it's alright. So anyway, uh, actually that's probably going to be about it for this video. Um, when we come back, we'll actually be going forward in the plotline. I promise. No more card games for a while. Uh, I don't know how long of a while. It might be a very short while, but a while nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, um, so we'll go downstairs and save, and again, as always, you guys take care, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and, uh, hooray Final Fantasy VIII! Okay guys, bye.